All right, shalom. So we are going to be working on multi-step word problems. This will be addition and subtraction within 100. Okay, so up to 100. So our target for today will be, I will be able to solve addition and subtraction word problems by using drawings and equations to represent the problem. These are the three steps. So the first is you're gonna break apart the problem. Second, you're gonna pick a strategy to solve. So whichever strategy, there are a variety of them. And then number three, you're going to solve and label. So for this word problem, we are going to use the cube method. So to break apart the problem, uh, C stands for circle the numbers. U stands for underline the question. B stands for box the key words. And E stands for eliminate the extra information. So here is the word problem. Beth had five apples and picked 10 more from a tree. Beth loved to eat apples. How many apples did Beth end up with? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to see, circle the numbers. So here we have number five, circle, number 10, circle. Good. Any more numbers? No, nope, there's no more. So now we're going to move on to you. Underline the question. Remember, questions end in a, with a question mark. So we're going to search through the word problem. Oh, and there it is. How many apples did Beth end up with? That is what we are underlining. How many apples did Beth end up with? There's no more question marks I see. So let's move on to B. We're going to box the key words. So the key word in this question is more. So you're going to draw a box around more. Okay, so now we're gonna eliminate. We're gonna take out, we're gonna cross out extra information. So here we have a line through, Beth loved to eat apples. That doesn't help us with our equation. It's just telling us she loves to eat apples. All right, that's cool, but we don't need it. So we're gonna cross it out, okay? Well done. So now we're gonna take the information from the word problem, and we are going to use the strategy um, where we write it in, like, we have pictures, we have it in an equation, and we're going to figure out what is the answer, okay? So our strategy for solving is we're going to create a picture, and we're going to write a number of sentence. So the first one here, in the first box, you see, we have the five apples, because that's what it told us, five apples. But then it said there were 10 more. Huh. So we have the first box of five. Second box, we have 10 more apples. Okay, we have 10 apples in here. So now we have our picture. Now we have our number sentence, five plus 10. And we have the box at the end. Box the unknown. What's five plus 10? Let's figure it out, let's see. So I hope you've paused the video and you figured out the previous um, example. Now let's move on to the second example. There were 45 sharks swimming together. When another group joined, at the end, there were 67 sharks. How many sharks joined? Well, let's see. So step one, we're breaking it apart. We circled our numbers. We crossed out. We eliminated the extra information. We put a box around those keywords and we underlined the question. So number two, we create a number sentence. So we know first there are 45 sharks plus, I don't know, let's put a box. 
And then we have, oh, we know what equals 67. Hmm, let's see. So we're going to draw the picture. Okay, so we know we had first, we had 45, we knew it was 67 altogether. So how much do we need to, how many more sharks did we have to add to see? Uh, let's compare and solve. Hmm, another tragedy. Oh, look at that. We're going to put a box around how many extra sharks you're drawing. 22. That's that. 22 sharks joined. So now, using the examples, the strategies, I want you to practice, okay? You're going to solve this word problem. Jensen baked chocolate chip cookies. They smelled so good that he ate 12 himself. This left him with 25 cookies to share with his friends. How many cookies did he bake? Hmm, let's see. Remember to pause the video and work out this word problem using the previous strategies. Are you ready? Did you do it? Did you end up with the same answer I did? Jensen baked, Jensen baked 37 chocolate chip cookies. If you didn't end up with the same answer, that's okay. We just go back and we just try again and practice and practice and practice. So here's the recap. I can solve addition and subtraction word problems by breaking it apart and using drawings and equations same thing as your number sentences to represent the problem when solving. Shalom. Thank you for joining me in this lesson.